Hey everybody, Andy Vargo here, and I'm here today with my quarantine buddy, this guy. He's really taking it over what? the top. Am I annoying you? Yes. Look, I'm just trying to have a little fun. I thought this was gonna be a quick, lighthearted video to kind of let people know what kind of company we're keeping with each other. No, I actually thought we could get into a deep conversation. Thought we Okay, you've gotta be the serious one in your suit. I know. I'm over here trying to own my awkward. I just wanna talk about how we find inner peace. Okay, fine. I'll take it down a notch. Thank you. Okay, how did you find your inner peace? Well, I'm glad you asked that, self. I'll tell you why. Because, you know, it really was hard for me to come to terms with being alone and being by myself. When I first was divorced and on my own, I had always been in a house full of kids and people and all the kids' friends were over. And so when I had to start living by myself, it really took me a while to get used to the idea that quiet time and peaceful time could be a time of contentment and not being at odds with myself or mad or lonely because I'm alone. So it, it took a while, but I, I, I figured it out. Yeah, I'm glad to see that you're in a good place now. I know that I've struggled with that myself and it's been hard. I'm glad you say that because I feel like we're in a good place now, but we weren't always. I mean, you know how some of those conversations we had with each other, it got pretty heated. I, I mean, think you were kind I, of an ass. No, you. No, I wasn't the ass. Yes. You were the ass. You, you were the problem. You were a jerk to me. Like you always wanted me to be like Mr. <sighs> Serious and professional and never let me show my own side. Look, I'm just trying to have a little decor anyway. We're in a good place now. It might not look like it, but we are. Maybe. You like, know you okay. love me. We're not gonna have Sometimes this with this one I feel like I'm talking to the wall. Anyway, let's talk about finding our own inner peace. Well, how are you feeling though? Are you feeling like you're at peace now? Yes, I am actually. I've done a lot of work to do it and it's been really hard and now I wanna help other people do the same thing. So, I think that's good. I think that it's really important that you be okay with whatever part of you, of yourself you need to bring to the world. Maybe it's your serious side, maybe it's your quirky fun side, but you've gotta be okay with that because you could end up in a time like this where you're just sitting at home alone and you gotta be able to kind of love the company that you have to surround yourself with and it might only be this or that. Oh my gosh, don't put the blame on me. Can you imagine living with I this? I do agree. All joking set aside, I think it's good to love yourself, own your awkward, be happy with who you are, and find your own peace, especially in this time of isolation, right? You're gonna do that? You're gonna take my line? I agree. Well, I might be a little bit further ahead than you. What are you doing now to help other people find their peace? You know, I'm glad you finally asked me a good question. I actually just finished writing the Find Your Peace Journal. That's such a cool idea. I love that. You can sign up for it on awkwardcareer.com and get it can for I free. Can I get my right own now. copy? Yeah, you can. I'm gonna do that right I, now. I think you should, and I think you should stop talking over me. Thanks for being with us today, everyone. Remember to keep it real, keep it awkward, and have a great day. I can't believe you just stole my line. That's like my outro. Hey everybody, Andy Vargo here, the real one. Keep it real, keep it awkward, and you have a great day. Come on, you know you love me. What's not to love?